Oh sh! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Welcome back, welcome, 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 welcome back. We're back. Hey, Boo Boo, we just watched a pretty awesome fan-made animation, wouldn't Wee. you say? Animation. <laughs> yeah. And I got my food. Ow, shit. That can hit me right in the head. <laughs> okay, I'm done talking like Yogi. Um, yeah, we just watched a really badass Majora's Mask fan mask. animation. I just ate a shit ton of fucking fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah, Elliot needed a lunch break. I was fucking hungry as shit, dicks. Money. Oh, do money. Mm -hmm. Money, money, money. <sighs> I know we talked about this during our uh, Metroid Prime playthrough, but uh, we we were just watching uh, some playthroughs of Majora's Mask, and Elliot mm. reminded me that Majora's Mask is his favorite Zelda game. Yeah, it is. Yeah, dude. It's it's hard to like recreate that kind of. You, you were saying that like for you, Majora's Masks is like the pinnacle of Zelda, and it's like, man, how do you top like such like it's oddly enough, yeah. it's actually one of my least favorite games, <laughs> Zelda games. But I will say this: I do really respect the idea, the ideas in the game, like the the three day system and the way how, how it's like Groundhog Day. Those ideas are all super awesome, and the art style is super cool. I just myself don't really enjoy playing it. But that being said, I see why people love it. Yeah, dude. Like, uh, as you just mentioned, yeah, I, I don't know how they could top it. Like, Because Breath of the Wild was, although it was fucking fantastic, it was mm -hmm. a, a step in the opposite direction of Majora's Mask. I was in awe, like, half the time I was playing Breath of the Wild. Like, when I got to the first uh, Divine Beast, when I saw, it's one of the dungeons? This is amazing. <gasps> then I felt myself up, and I just... Oh, <gasps> yeah! I felt the same like astonishment when I got to the first one, and then after I beat it, I was like, "Well, that was fucking underwhelming and stupid." I hope the other ones aren't like that. Really? And they all were, and I was like, "Well, this is stupid." Oh, you didn't like the dungeons in no, Breath I of the Wild? Hated them. Wow. Huh? They weren't hard. They they were like a fucking joke. You could beat them in like twenty minutes. Hmm. Uh, the puzzles were so lackluster. Uh. I did not like them at all. I mean, I, I guess, like, one could argue that, like, the crap ton of uh, shrines yes, makes I up like, for I it. Yes, I like the shrines. The shrines. I, I'd say the shrines were probably better than Divine Beasts. I don't know. I like them way better than Divine Beasts. Okay, well, at least there's that. Like, if, to me, I, I don't know. Yeah, e even if the dungeons were better. Yeah. Kind of suits me, Doc. <laughs> even <laughs> if it were better. Uh, design to design beasts and stuff. Mm -hmm. If it was a better dungeon, if they had different aesthetic designs too. Like it's not even just the the puzzles and how hard they are and stuff. It's the fact that they all look the same. They had like the pr pretty much the exact same theme. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, I, I can see why that that didn't bother me. But yeah, I I can understand that. Like as somebody who like I remember in that Metroid Prime episode, we I talked about how in Skyward Sword I didn't like how. There were only, like, they repeated the same freaking uh, level themes over and over. And in the final dungeon, it's just all the same ones you've already seen. Yeah. It's not even new. That really fucking annoyed me. Uh, see, I still like that miles more than Breath of the Wild because it was oh, really? three different scenes. Oh, you, you like the dungeons in Skyward Sword better? Oh, yeah. Did you like Skyward Wait. Sword as a whole better? Oh, yeah. I, oh, as a whole better? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, I still love Skyward Sword, though. Mm, okay. I thought it was great. There are things that make me hate Skyward Sword, though, like in certain parts. The fucking motion controls weren't that great. The number one thing, I think I mentioned this on here, that just fucking makes me want to rip my nuts off in <laughs> yeah. Skyward Sword is every time you find a bug, it plays a cutscene. And it shows the pause shows the fucking menu. Bug, and then you're like, okay. I found the bug for the first time. That's fine. But then, no, no, no. You log out or like you save and quit. Mm -hmm. You come back a week later, and then you find a bug that you have fifty of, and then it has to show you the cutscene explaining the bug you found. Yeah, dude. I, I that freaking was hate that. fucking stupid and terrible. I know. That's if they Awful. ever if they ever uh, like do an HD port of Skyward Sword, which I'm pretty sure they will do eventually. They did yeah. it for Twilight Princess, yeah. so Skyward Sword's next on the table. Uh, They'd better fix that. If well, they I, don't, I would be very... Uh, yeah, upset. I, I'd be baffled if they didn't. Yeah, me too. There's just a lot of things they should fix. Uh, Twilight Princess was a good game. I think it's always better. Uh, like, I remember it worse than it is. 
Really? Yeah. Whenever I play it, I'm like, oh, this is better than I remember. Hmm. Like, when I, um, yeah, when I look back on it, I'm like, ah, it was one of my least favorite Zelda games. Yeah, I feel like Twilight Princess is kind of all over the place with people. Some people are like, oh, it's so dark and edgy. I love it. Oh, it's so cool. And people are like, no, it's like trying way too hard to be dark, and it's just not. Yeah. It's And I, I see, because, like, I, I remember... Uh, Majora's Mask is pretty dark. I mean, it's... It's, it's a different kind of dark. Like, Majora's Mask is dark in that it's creepy and yeah. scary. Whereas yeah. Twilight Princess is dark. Edgelord. Is, is, yeah, I guess Edgelord. Or just, like, it's... Twilight Princess is more mature. It's it's a slightly more adult-feeling Zelda game, but it's not as, like, scary dark. Like Sure. It, yeah. I, I'd agree with that. Um, yeah, but where, where I was going with this thing, the reason I think that Breath oh, of the Wild was my bad. step in the op opposite direction uh -huh. uh, is that it was basically like they created this fucking fantastic engine. They created oh God, yeah. this idea of like uh, cool things to do, exploration, uh, these little shrines, things like that. But then they didn't micromanage all of your interactions, right? Whereas Majora's Mask is the total opposite. Uh, they used the same fucking engine that was already made in Ocarina, in Ocarina, Ocarina. So that let them focus completely on micromanaging all of these little interactions and things. like With everybody in Clock Town. Everybody in Clock Town. Like, how to figure out how to get to the next dungeon. Like, it's insane. All the steps you have to do. All the places you have to go. All of the things you have to backtrack and do. And how everything links together. Mm -hmm. And all of these different masks. And... None of them feel like a token mask. Like may maybe there are a couple that you just kind of get from talking to the right person. Like uh, for example, the marching mask, or the feather mask that you play the march and like animals follow you. Oh, I didn't even get that one. Okay. I that didn't one. even get half of the masks you when go I to played the laundry the game. pool and you talk to the jukebox guy and he tells you about it. Yeah, anyways, yeah. Uh, this part's censored on the Xbox version. Fuck that shit. Yes. Fellatio. Yes. Yeah. Fellatio, 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 blowjob. Okay. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, dude, it's, it's fucking, it's crazy to me, like, uh, just the amount of detail is put into, like, okay, to get from this point to this point, you have to do this, then you have to figure out this, then you have to, like, like, just take the first three days, I'm gonna break it down a little bit, I don't wanna get too into it, but on a, an overall level, you have to figure out, you have to wander around the town, that's exploration in its own, uh -huh. you have to talk to people to figure out that there's some kids around or something. You have to figure out that to even talk to the kids, he's trying to shoot down a balloon. Mm -hmm. Well, how do I shoot down a balloon? I don't know. Let me explore some more. Oh, there's a fairy. Oh, the fairy wants me to find this. Other fairy. Okay, now I have a snot power. Okay, now <laughs> what do you do with the snot power? You have to figure out to break the balloon. Oh, why would I want to play fucking hide-and-go-seek with these kids? Okay, now I can go to their secret base. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Now I have to go look through this guy's telescope. Like... I'm going to stop because I'm going on a rant, but just all of these things versus Breath of the Wild is awesome because it's like, just go fucking nuts. Do what you want. Go yeah, there's, there's so much freedom, whereas Majora's Mask is like, oh, you have to do it like this. Yes, and that's what I love about Majora's Mask. Everything is so fun. Like, all of the interactions are designed to be fucking awesome. Mm, girl, look at that body. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I was, thinking, I was worried that that guy was going to come beat the crap out of me. <laughs> I was like, ah, no! Otherwise, I would have kept saying. Yeah. And it was, yeah, dude, no, it's, like, it's... That's what I love about Majora's Mask. Yeah, no, it's it's very, I will say, like, all of the things you can do with the people in Clock Town, mm -hmm. the way that, because time keeps repeating, yeah. the way that you see their daily schedule yeah. just repeat over and over, and it's like, I know this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's just ground, I've never seen the movie Groundhog Day, but I, I, I know what the premise is, and the way that... I don't. It's, it's just, it's like... A day repeating over and over oh, and over again, but it. in this case, it's three days. Yeah. Um. Yeah, dude. No, I. I get why people like that. Like a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people say that they don't like how Skyward Sword is very uh, linear. Yeah, super linear, and how you go through the same locations yep. over and over and over again. Right. I agree with that. I, I yeah. like Skyward Sword, but I don't love it. Mm. I do like it though. I, I yeah. a lot of people hate that game. Yeah, I know they do. And uh, I, I never, I wouldn't say I hate it because I mean, Ocarina of Time. You have to go back to the same locations. Like, the first three dungeons right. are forest, mountain, oh, water, and then the next yeah. three dungeons, forest, yep. mountain, water, in the exact same location. Yeah. So, I'd like to say, like, Ocarina isn't, doesn't repeat anything at all. Skyward Sword does. Yeah. That's that's just, like, Bullshit. incorrect. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I get... 
You know, Majora's Mask, it's definitely... Are you going to pee on them? I I was wondering if I should stand on here or oh. not. Eh, no. No, that'll just make things Sorry, harder. I was just curious. No, you're fine. Uh, hmm. I gotta wait for him to get back into place. This is, one, so far, the hardest part of the game, I, yeah. I'd have oh, to say. Yeah, oh, dude, I struggled with this. Yeah, and I will say the Xbox version... De Better. This part's slightly... I, I got really yeah. stuck here when I first played it on Xbox, but... Yeah. It definitely, uh... Still hard either way. Still mm -hmm. pretty freaking hard. Totes. Yeah. I do... I will say the remix of... The, the, the version of this song, Rock Solid. Yeah. It's better on the Xbox version. I would goddamn love to hear it at an actual rave. If I heard it at an actual rave, I'd be like, Yes! <laughs> Oh, yeah. If, if only hangovers could be cured this quickly. You know, I read... Okay, it's probably bullshit. Jen linked me an article. Some dude who used to work uh, for Elon Musk came up with some uh, formula for a hangover. And it Elon was getting, Musk? No, not Elon Musk, but he worked for Elon Musk. Uh-huh. And uh, it's getting a lot of traction. I don't know if it... Like, I don't know if it's working or not, but... Yep. Huh. There might be a cure for a hangover, possibly. But wait, what's Elon Musk? Who is Elon Musk? Yeah. Or what is it? He. He? It's a person. Oh. <laughs> Elon Musk is a person. No, oh, I, that's okay. why I corrected you. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying... <laughs> Next time on Royal Goose, we learn who the fuck Elon Musk is and we finish this level. <gasps> I would be willing to bet most of the audience knows who Elon Musk is. Well, then I'm just a fucking idiot. Ding! 